Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or oh, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm filming my makeup tutorial. I haven't done a video like this in such a such a long time. The last time I made a video of my makeup collection was 2014 and I felt the need to, you know, update it and all of that because my collection has grown and all of this was purchased with all my money or received as a gift and yeah, so we're going to start off with this tape first. So we have two sections. So we have my makeup case right over there and we have a section here and the top drawer but we're gonna start in this corner right over here. Okay, I'm starting at this corner right here. Um, so I have my power bank here that I got for free. I don't know how that happened but I managed to get this for free. I went to check out and I got an iPhone charger that I was like I need a power bank because I'm going away for the weekend so I needed this. Um, then I got a choker, just chill it on there. Of course, deodorant. Um, I'll just keep this on the table so I can grab it before, you know, get all dressed. Then I got two hand sanitizers. Depends on what smell I really want to go for. Um, this is just to make sure my hands are clean before applying any sort of makeup. Then on this side, we've got all my brushes. Um, some of them are like really, really, really old. Some of them are like new-ish. So I have just up brushes. I have like two lots of them. They're really good and they're really cheap. I'll link the I'll link the seller in the description bar below. But they're really really good. They're so soft. I love them. Then I got some Real Techniques brushes that I love to use as well. And I got some U Spice brushes that I have had for quite a while now. Um, I just use the eyeshadows, eyeshadow brushes for eyeshadows, of course, and all of that. Then behind here we have my makeup bags this is just like if I'm going away for the weekend or going away for somewhere I like to put my makeup in this bag especially this one's a bit small sometimes I put my brushes in that small one there but I mainly put all my makeup in that big one so now we're going into this one right here so I have six beauty blenders one from um, Real Techniques this is a knockoff um, beauty blender um, this is a knockoff one as well the Real Beauty Blender is somewhere deep down here and these two are B Beauty Blenders. I love these two compared to the actual Beauty Blender which is weird. I really like these two so much. Um, yeah, I know the day. <laughs> I haven't really washed my makeup or my brushes in a while. So I'm just going to take them out so I can show you the rest of the stuff I got in here. And I just dropped one of them. <laughs> then here. I know I have a lot of makeup, I'm just going to say that first of all, um, I know I have a lot of makeup and I understand, <laughs> I am trying my best not to buy too much makeup now but I love makeup, it's a passion of mine so I like to have a lot of makeup even though I ain't supposed to have this amount. So I have Dior which is like a little eyeshadow um, set that I got as a gift so it just like looks like that. I hate it. <laughs> I don't use it. I use it as a like a miniature version of a mirror. I, do, I, I really don't. I, I'm not a big fan of this product at all. Then I got my Sophie um, Extra Spice palette. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. I am in love with this palette. It's so amazing. I did do a video when using this palette. Um, it's my back to school video. If you want to see how that goes you can watch it I'm gonna put a card and you guys can go and watch it because I love this palette so so much oh it's so gorgeous I'm gonna move that to the side and then I got this new um, revolution chocolate bar palette it's called violet so it's basically you know all purples but it's so gorgeous inside it just looks absolutely amazing I look like crap today so I'm not really gonna be in the camera and it just looks so amazing I love it so so much oh it's really cheap it was at $8.99 oh it's so cheap I'm gonna actually link every single no I'm actually gonna not link everything down below because that's way too long um but this is on revolutionbeauty.com and you can get yourself one because I think everyone needs 
these chocolate bars because they're so amazing. So cheap, so easy. I love it, I love it so, so much. Then I've got another chocolate bar palette and this is called Chocolate and Peaches. It's a dupe for the Too Faced Peach Palette and I love it. As you can tell, I've used a lot of it. If you see little fingers in my makeup, it's because my niece went into it and she decided, you know, to go into my makeup and, you know, put it on her face. So if you see those little tiny marks right there, it's my niece. <laughs> I love that palette, it's really nice. Then I like to call this one smoky kind of look because it's called Death by Chocolate. Um, it's really just, it's just dull colours which is good for like a nice smoky eye because there's a black right there. I, I love this palette so, so much, it's so good. I'm not gonna be showing every single product in that much detail. I'm just showing you the ones I absolutely love because it will, it will be like a two hour video, just saying. So in this little corner right here, I have my favorite butter lip gloss from NYX and then this one's called Ginger Snap. I love this lip gloss so much. It's my favorite kind of go-to lip gloss whenever I'm like doing like a intense eyeshadow look. I use this all the time because I don't want my lips to be too dramatic. It is so, so amazing. I love it. So that is that corner done. Um, that is all the makeup I have up here. I have a makeup case right there, but I'm gonna leave that to last because I'll explain as I'm going. Then I've got a candle burning over there and it's called Melon Crush. It's from um, Asda and I absolutely love the smell of it. It smells so good, so, so good. Yes, and I'm wearing shorts, <laughs> ignore me. So now we're gonna be moving on to this drawer right here. This is where I keep my makeup, more majority of my makeup. I'm not gonna go in too much detail about each product like I mentioned earlier. I am just going to show you my favorite ones and the ones I'm not a big fan of. All right, so this is how my drawer looks like when you initially open it. So we have my, everything's organized in certain sections. So we have palette, foundation, prep and prime. Um, we also have powders over there in that corner and all of that. So we're gonna start off with the palettes because that's what you see immediately. So this is my palette drawer, I absolutely love this. So I have mainly like Lash Beauty palettes because one, they're affordable, two, they're pigmented. They do fall out a bit, but they're really good. Like the, for the price, it's really good. So this is my little small one that I've got and this is called 12K. It has a really, 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 really pretty red right there, which I love so much. It's so, so good. I love it so, so much gonna put that on the table. Then I got my NYX Brights palette which I like to use for you know colorful makeup. Then this is my Lip Lash Beauty palette and this is Wildfire and it just looks so gorgeous. I haven't really done too much looks with this for you guys. I will come up with something. Um, I'm really really excited to show what I can. I'm really really excited to show you guys what I can do with this palette because it's basically a really really good pigmented eyeshadow palette trust me it's so so good then I got um Lick Lash Beauty 350M it's just another dupe for the Morphe palette nothing too special here it is good like I said earlier then I also have another Lick Lash Beauty palette and this is 35 OM, so it's on matte shades. Um, I do like it. There's nothing much I can really say right now, but I do like this palette. Then I got my Morphe 35 N. I'm not a really big fan of this eyeshadow palette because um, if you look at the first top rows, it's all actually colors for my skin tone but the rest of the bottom is like really good so I do you tend to use the bottom ones more than the top ones but I will try and see if I can come up with a look but I'm not a really big fan of this palette I hope I can purchase um, different Morphe palettes in the future so I like to call this corner right here um, my base and 
setting sprays. So I got my NYX Fix Plus, which I recommend everyone to have. So I got my NYX Matte Finish and my NYX Dewy um, Finish. I like to, you know, switch it up a bit. Sometimes I want to look more matte and sometimes I want to look more dewy. I am absolutely in love with these two. Super cheap, affordable. Then, which is weird. Um, so, one day, I decided to, you know, go into my mum's room and steal this little bad boy. And I'm not going to lie, it's good as a primer. Like, if you want to make your makeup stay, it becomes a bit tacky. And it just allows your makeup to stay on. I do like it. It also helps with the skin. I, I really do like that one. But, yeah, I love it. Um... When it comes to oil control, there's not much oil control. It's supposed to be for that, but I like to use it as a natural primer, which I ain't really supposed to, but I do. Then I got my favourite, favourite L'Oreal um, Inflowable Mattifying Base. It's so, so good. I actually got two of them. Um, I love it so much. Don't mind the bottom lids. It's, that one is from Maybelline Baby Skin primer i just couldn't find the lid so i just replaced it with that i love it so so much there we got um maybelline master prime and this is really good i love it as well most of the primers i actually do love <laughs> i'll pop from one which is oh, i'll pop from one which is this one right here this is gosh primer it's illuminating i don't really like my face too dewy because i have kind of like combination skin so i don't really reach for this anymore then we've got the Nivea um, shaving balm. If you know about all that hype before, you know about that. Then I've got the NYX Fair Space Primer Spray, which is okay. I do love it. It's really nice. Then I also have my Burry um, Primer Original. I do like that one, but it doesn't do too much when it comes to oil controlling and all of that business. So at the back, I have my foundations. And I go through not a lot of foundations. Um... I went through a phase where I didn't have enough foundations, so I went into like Super Jug or Pearson's or House of Fraser's or Debenhams to get these products. Um, so this is my um, Lancome um, Teardraw Ultra Wear Foundation and this is in shade 15. I do like it a lot, but this is my summer shade, so right now it matches me, but in the winter it's a bit tad too dark for me. But I do like it a lot. It's, it's really, really nice. Then I got my Body Shop Foundation in Chestnut. That's really nice. I love that. I remember I was obsessed with that. Then I got my Fast Base um, Revolution Foundation Stick here. Then I got um, L'Oreal and Flamble Total Cover Foundation in X Cappuccino. I was going to say Expresso there. My bad. And then I got, oh, I love this one. Rimmel London. Um, Match Perfection in the shade Deep Chocolate. This is my summer shade. It's so, so, I love the formula of that. Then I've got my NYX Total Drop Control Foundation in Cocoa. I actually forgot. <laughs> then this is like my worst product in there. So i got, um, so I've got here's Kiko um, Skin evolution foundation in coca it's just way too red on me i don't know what i was thinking when i was purchasing it it was probably the lighting in the store because i absolutely hate that then i got my maybelline fit me and foundation in 355 and i actually really like that i don't use it that often but it's, it's really nice it gives a nice finish then i got um l'oreal in fallible um foundation stick in espresso i like to use this to contour oh my god it's so so good don't use this as a foundation because this is freaking slippery like i do not recommend this for as well as a foundation just use it to contour and that's it it's really really nice i'm gonna actually do a video on that then i've got my gosh bb cream in the last shade, I think the last shade was called Espresso. And then I got my favorite, favorite drugstore foundation, which is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in 10W. 
as you can tell and I usually like warm shades I don't really go for too cool I like my you know makeup warm even though I'm neutral based okay so at the back next to the foundation I have my concealers so this is actually a foundation I'm never gonna pronounce that name because yeah I'm probably gonna butcher it so my mum got this as a foundation shade um, but I use it to conceal because yeah let me just show you that will never match me and my mum I don't know what she was thinking she brought a line and she got the wrong shade so I use this as a concealer instead then I got my ooh, then I got my NYX um, conceal correct and contour um, cream concealer I almost forgot what I was saying there <laughs> and this is in deep um, I really like that um, it's really cheap everything here is mainly like high-end and some most of it is drugstore but some of it is high-end then I got my Maybelline instant age eraser concealer in tan I absolutely love that then I got of course my Ella girl pro concealers I was obsessed with them so so much I'm gonna try and use them again um, but I have used most of the products as you can tell like I have used the majority of them and I love them they're very very cheap you can get them for eBay for like three pounds something if I remember correctly then I got Rimmel match perfection concealer in Coca then I got my Laura true match concealers I love them and I hate them sometimes it depends on my mood when it comes to makeup really then I got my favorite favorite concealers right now drugstore concealers which is revolution conceal and define oh my god when i say these blend so beautifully they blend so beautifully i got a nyx um full coverage concealer in the shade orange i just got this full color quick tin then i hate this product um this is kiko and this is in the shade 08 it's a concealer it's just way too red it's just so so red really weird I just no then if you know me <laughs> you know how obsessed I'm with MAC um, concealer so I got this MAC concealer in NW45 I like to use this to cover up my eyebrows I don't use it as an actual conceal shade um, I use it to cover up my eyebrows the one I use to conceal under my eyes I use the MAC Prolone wear concealer in the shade NW40 I love this so blendable but you have to work quick because it dries quick so that is all my concealers and now we're gonna move on to my powders I have my powders so I've got a powder puff from B because I need to use this whenever I'm doing under my eyes then I got my Primark um, mineral powder in caramel then I got Sasha buttercup in a little sip I don't really like buying things in full and I need to try them before I buy them in full so I've got the Sasha Buttercup here, then I've got um, Ben Nye Sienna Powder here, then I've got Ben Nye Topaz Powder there, then I've got my ooh, favourite one right now is Deloria Mercier in Medium Deep, it, this is really good right now, I love it on my skin right now. Then I've got this L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powder in Translucent, then also Maybelline um fit me powder in translucent then i got my mac mineral skin finish um, powder in dark deep it's really nice i love i love mac i'm not gonna lie to you but if i don't want to buy mac i go for my lower two match um powder which is really really nice i like to use that to set my foundation so that completes this whole entire draw and now we're going to move on to the top and go into the makeup case I'm going to do that on the floor because doing it on the table is way too difficult I usually take it out and put it on the bed behind me then I can open and access whatever I need to access in that makeup storage so I'm going to close this and move on to the makeup storage okay so this is where I keep the rest of my makeup um, as you can tell the first draw was just mainly like face products um get my base ready so this is like kind of like my eye my highlighters and lip products in here so i got this i want to say 2015 
I got it as a gift, so I don't know where you can get this from, but it's most likely you can access it on eBay or you can access it, you can access it on Amazon. So I'm not really too sure, but you know, you can get this case on any of those websites. So in this compartment here, you got my blushes and contour powders. So I have Revolution and mm, eyeshadow, but I like to use it as a um, contour powder. And then I have um, Lancome powder that I got as a gift. And then I have Sleek contour powder. I think everyone, everyone knows about the Sleek contour powder. And then I got some Sleek and blushes here so I got flushed here which is really really pretty it's so so nice and then we have Sephora which is basically my skin tone I'm not gonna lie to you I don't really reach for that that much and we have sunrise which is a really really nice pink shimmery gold so so nice i love it and then i got a bronzer here in dark um it's really nice as well i really like that then in this compartment on this other side i have my highlighters so i got mac blush here but i like to use it as a highlighter and it's called telling glow i really like this i like to use it as an eyeshadow as well sometimes i'm not gonna lie to you but i really really, really love that then you guys really know about these two. These are um, Ted Baker Illuminating. I'm not really gonna, I actually don't remember the name, but these are just Ted Baker Highlighter Liquid. You know, you get what I'm trying to say. And I think this one's called Golden Lights and this one's called Pearl Pink. I've had those for like ages. Like I've had them for way too long. Then I've got my Makeup Revolution highlighters so i got gold addict rejuvenate golden lights and rock on world i really 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 like the revolution um highlighters they're really nice then i got maybelline Stray mystic in medium nude glow and then i got nyx um, illuminating highlighter in magnet which is nice as well very nice I like my highlighters I am gonna get more I can't wait to show you guys what I have in store for like the highlighter section really really excited you can see my toes right there hi little toes I'm gonna move them out now <laughs> so now I'm gonna open this up and we get to see more so in this compartment right in the middle we just have my skincare i'm really not going to go too much in that because of the makeup collection but this is where i get like my skincare stuff i keep a spare um facial wipes in here um all of that stuff skincare stuff so in this compartment i like to call it eyes and eyebrows <laughs> and glitz and glow so i just have um eyebrow stuff I got my NYX eyedropper pencil in that one. I got Freedom um, Pro Made Dip Brow. Then I got my Revolution Vitality Eye Primer, which is super, super good. Then I have a B Shimmer Shade. Then I got some NYX eyeshadow base in the back there. Then I got, um, who is this? Um, L'Oreal Mrs. Baby Roll. Um, waterproof mascara right there I've got plenty of mascaras behind here that I can't reach right now and then I got NYX um, glitter and I think this one's called magnet I really like them um, I'm actually trying to get into glitters right now so I'm really trying to build up my glitter collection and then I got some eyebrow pencils back there they're not really that important it's mainly like room in London eyebrow pencils I use a lot so I really, really like that. Then that's pretty much sums up all my eye stuff. I just have a Maybelline Master Fix. So like when I mess up with my eyeliner or 
all of that jazz. I like to use it to fix that up. As you can tell, I've already used it. I really, really like this side. I like eyeshadows. I love eyeshadows. I'm a big fan of eyeshadows and all of that. We're gonna go to my lip section, which is on the side. So over there, as you can see, is all my lip products and stuff I like to use. So I got, so I got Revolution um, liquid lipstick in Glory. So so nice. Then I got some NYX. Um, what's it called? Soft matte lip creams. I really really love them. That's another Revolution. I got some NYX um, lingerie li liquid lipsticks right there. And I also got Colourpop there. I got some Lung Crime. The main like nudes, I really, really like nudes right now. Then I got some Maybelline um, lipsticks. So this one's like a really, really bright red. Really nice. Um, it's like for like date night, you know. You could have been looking <laughs> extra saucy. And then you have <laughs> another Maybelline one. And this one's kind of like a berry red. Like a deep berry red. And it's called... Um, Midnight Molot. Yeah, I think I got that right. Then we also have some collection lipsticks, and we have some Primark lip liners, and um, some lip liners from Revolution and all that jazz. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as you can tell, I have more makeup now, and you know, I, I, I gotta stop. Um, if you guys want, you know more videos like this or you want more makeup videos please comment down below i'll be sure to do some and also i have like upcoming videos where it's like girl talk back girl talk is coming back don't worry girl talk is coming back advice videos i'm gonna be doing a lot more of that i'm gonna try and do vlogs but we'll see how that goes first of all because i'm i'm really shy in the real world like i really don't want everyone looking at me i'm like really really super super shy and that is the end of the video i hope to see you guys soon i love you loads and good night or good morning or whatever time it is all right bye <laughs>